Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be filming a Q&A. And I have a decent amount of questions to answer, so yeah, let's just get started. So the first question is just an easy one. My full name is Fiona Champion Russ. So for my nationality, I am mixed and I'm mostly Portuguese, um, French, black, native, a little bit of Spanish somewhere along the way. Next is why I wanted to start YouTube. And well, when I was younger, when I was like seven, I got one of those iPod Nanos and they have a little camera in there. And I remember always doing like little vlogs and stuff. Guess what Christmas was? Um, two days ago? And look at the awesome stuff I got. I would always do vlogs on there and then I never uploaded them because they were just kind of weird. But, I don't know. I basically do, th that's what I do now. I do vlogs, so what I did when I, was, when I was a kid is what I do now. But I just upload them and, yeah. Uh, celebrity crush. Obviously, Harry Styles. He's my favorite person in the entire world. Well, favorite celebrity in the entire world. But he's up there, favorite people. Um, I love Miguel too. He's one of my favorite people. Miguel, Harry Styles, and Michael Jackson. I love all of them so much. It says, who do I have a crush on now? Uh, besides like celebrities, nobody. I don't have a crush on anybody. I'm not really interested, so that's that. Favorite actor. Okay, um, this might take me a second. Okay, well, I love all the Marvel movies, so probably Sebastian Stan, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Evans, Chris Hemsworth. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite actor, though. Favorite YouTubers. Um, it's totally random, though. I just kind of, whatever's in my recommended, I just watch all of those, so I don't really have a favorite. Next question is, favorite One Direction album slash song? And even though Zayn wasn't in the band for this last album, I think Made in the AM is my absolute favorite. And then for my favorite songs... Take Me Home, that's a really good album. Girl Almighty is like really upbeat, so that's good. Hmm. Favorite album, Made in the AM, and then those are all my favorite songs. Where do I buy my clothes? Mostly Forever 21 because it's not too expensive and they have like plenty of options and then I love colors and crazy stuff, so it's perfect for me. Garage, I love Garage. So probably Garage and Forever 21 are my favorite. How long have I been doing gymnastics? I've been doing gymnastics... <sighs> okay, well, I started competing when I was six because that's the actual age you're supposed to compete at. You can't be any younger, so six and I'm 15. So that's nine years. So nine years competing. And then I, I've been doing it since I was two years old when I lived in New York for like mommy and me classes, so. Thirteen years. <laughs> I, I've been doing gymnastics for thirteen years and competing for I think I said nine nine years. What's the hardest skill I do? My hardest skill would probably be a triple or a two and a half punch for on floor. My favorite type of dog. Well, I have a pit bull and I like him. Um, corgis are really cute. I've always wanted a corgi, so either corgis or pit bulls are my favorite. How old is my puppy? My puppy is four, but he still acts like he's. A little baby so that's why I call him a puppy but yeah he's four years old my favorite food that is really hard <laughs> okay well I love donuts <laughs> I love donuts I like fries I like oh especially five guys I love five guys and Shake Shack and that's for like 
the not good stuff. My favorite healthy food, I mean, I like fruit. I, I mean, I'm not really a picky eater. Like, the only thing I don't like, which is probably like, I mean, okay, I don't like fish, which is like a big category of things. I don't like any type of fish. Anything from the ocean I think is nasty. But besides that, I eat anything. My biggest fear, okay, ants. I'm terrified of ants. Like, I think it's disgust and being scared of them, but it's both. Like, you know with people with bees, like they see a bee and they're like freaking out. And like, I'm like that with, with ants. And ants don't even do anything, they're harmless. So I don't know, I don't know where this fear came, up, came from. Terrified of vomit, I hate throwing up, it's disgusting. Other people throwing up, me throwing up. I have pretty high standards for myself, so if I don't achieve what I wanna achieve, I usually get pretty upset, but I don't know if that's a fear. What school do I go to? Okay, I go to classical high school in Providence. Yeah, it's the best in Rhode Island, supposedly. But, or the best public school in Rhode Island. What do I look forward to for sophomore year? <clears throat> I don't think I'm looking forward to anything, but I'm trying to like do really well this year. Like I really want to get straight A's and all that and Last year, I was injured, and I was kind of in a, a weird headspace. I was kind of in a weird headspace last year, so I wasn't myself. My grades didn't really reflect, like, how they usually are, so. Um, it's not really <clears throat> something like I'm looking forward to, but I'm just excited to be back in the groove, motivated, doing well, and, yeah. A really random question. Um... Thank you, Abby. But my favorite apple is Honeycrisp. Uh, how I regained strength um, back for gymnastics. Um, I'll probably make a separate video talking more about this, but a lot of patience because I'm literally still healing and I got hurt um, almost 15 months ago. Patience, a lot of physical therapy. You gotta be motivated, so like, if your doctor is telling you to do something, if your physical therapist is telling you to do something, you need to do it. So whatever exercise, whatever medita medication you need to take, icing regularly. Opinion on school. It's not for everybody. I think I don't mind the school environment because I like being social most of the time. So I don't, like homeschool wouldn't be for me. So. I, th I think she means opinion on school, like going to school, like the normal school environment. So it's not for everybody. I understand why people don't like it. I understand why people do like it. I don't like school, but I wouldn't rather be homeschooled. When you're in high school, you, you're kind of more on your own. So it's up to you to stay motivated yourself. So it's all about your attitude. But yeah, it's not for everybody, honestly. <laughs> Biggest regret. I don't feel like I don't have a lot of regrets. I think through my decisions pretty well, so I don't end up regretting a lot of things. Well, I feel like maybe in the future I might think this about myself. Not now, but like I'm always kind of thinking ahead, thinking about when I'm an adult, what I want to do, where I want to live. So I might regret not really taking this last time to sort of be a kid and have fun. People say I'm an old soul, and I kind of understand when, when people are saying that because I don't really do a lot of things like that a lot of teenagers do. But I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just not me personally. But I don't think I have a, I don't, right now I don't have any regrets. Like looking back, I don't think so. The last question is best memory. And I have a lot, you're gonna hate me for this, but my Harry Styles concert in Boston was probably the, the best day of my life. I really love David Bowie and I like um, Pink Floyd and a lot of people that he, is sort of inspired by so seeing his concert kind of made me I didn't also see Harry I mean I did because he obviously has a really unique sound but I heard other artists in him that I also really like so it was a really cool experience and I snuck in a lot closer to where my seats would have been so I was that was really cool he was basically right there also I went to Arizona for a competition once and I did really well and I ended up getting third but I didn't win, but like getting third at like one of those kind of bigger competitions, that was a really big deal to me because the, the girls on the West Coast are way better. So that was really exciting. And I had I had a really good beam that day and beam is not my best event at all. So I was really happy about that. I have to watch back and see if this is, if I rushed or the lighting was bad and I might have to redo this, but anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.